What's good everybody? It's your boy D Nice from Illuminati2G.com. Doing a new section here called Hip Hop Shorts. And the first one of the year for here for April. We're just talking about upcoming news or just different things that are going on in hip hop today. First one is Daz Dillinger just announced on his Instagram that there will be an upcoming album from the Dog Pound, which is Daz and Corrupt, entitled Dog Food 2. Now, being a longtime hip hop fan, there have been many, many albums that have had sequels, whether it was Raekwon's Built for Cuban Links, and then the second one, Marshall Mathers LP, the second one, you know, the list goes on and on, and sometimes that scares a lot of people. So I'm just here to talk about kind of my thoughts on what I think this album would be. First and foremost, Daz Dillinger drops a ton, a ton of upcoming projects. Um, there was an album that was supposed to be just Dog Pound with, uh, with Pete Rock, and then there was a uh, another Dog Pound album that was uh, also due to drop, but I think this one has, has some traction and has some wheels to possibly come out. First and foremost, because Snoop is the CEO and is over currently uh, Death Row Records, so he currently has all access to unreleased material. So you could see a lot of old, maybe, you know, 90s, um, early to mid 90s, uh, unreleased Dog Pound tracks that they may rework, uh, you know, remaster, reproduce, or just drop in there in entirety. Because there was an album that was due to drop after Dog Food, and that was right around the time Tupac had got signed to Death Row. You also never got the Eargasm album from The Lady of Rage, uh, which was supposed to be executive produced by Dr. Dre. There's hundreds, probably upon thousands of unreleased songs from all of the artists that came through Death Row Records around that time, so that's something kind of to get hyped about. Um, and hopefully uh, will drop as well. Also, the Dog Pound currently is on uh, Death Row Records, so um, Snoop is working on a lot of uh, up-and-coming projects, so I'm definitely on the lookout for that. As far as my thoughts on what this sound will be, I think it will kind of have that, you know, early G-Funk uh, 90s sound to it, maybe with a little bit of a mixture of some uh, new material, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Daz and Corrupt have to offer. Again, both of them put out a lot of upcoming projects and announcements about new projects, so I do hope and pray that this does uh, come out. Like I said, the name uh, Dog Food 2 is going to invoke a lot of uh, different reactions with a lot of people, but definitely will get people hyped, um, being that it is uh, named uh, Part 2 um, to arguably a West Coast, if not a hip-hop classic, but um, again, these are just uh, little hip-hop shorts we're going to have here. You know, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this album from Daz and Corrupt? Um, will it drop this year? And what do you think the uh, sound will be? Drop it in the comment section. As always, check out the site, www.illuminati2g.com. Check us out on all your social media platforms as well. We've got our uh, podcast, I2G Radio, that will be coming back here uh, very shortly here in May. And again, we're going to do a lot of these hip-hop shorts. Um, it's just my opinion and, you know, staff members' opinion on a lot of uh, upcoming news or projects or things that we see that's coming out in hip-hop. So, again, Daz Dillinger announced on Instagram that Dog Food 2 is on its way. And we also dropped um, artwork, which you'll see in this video and um, on this feature as well on Illuminati2G.com. So, as always, be nice. Keep it locked. Stay enlightened with hip-hop since 2000. Peace.